It was the size of a lemon. The tumor was actually on my brain stem, uh, causing fluid to stay up in my brain, giving me real bad headaches. It was everything was the worst. The, just the pain was terrible. When I actually woke up, the uh, nurse asked me if I knew who the president was, which I had no idea. When somebody would come in to visit me, they would, ac some, you know, they would accidentally hit the bed or something, and my, it was just like my head was pounding. It hurt really bad. I was uh, disabled for three years before I could actually go back to work, and my uh, my grandma pretty much moved in with us so she could take care of me. What went through your mind knowing that you were going to have another surgery? Oh, it was terrible. I mean, uh, a lot of my family was here with me, and uh, I was thinking it was going to be the same way. How did you feel after this surgery? I felt excellent. I had a little bit of a headache, but it wasn't real bad. It was a lot different, 100% different from the first one. When the nurse came in and said, you can go home, what was the first thing that went through your mind? I, well, my mom was sitting right there and I looked at her, I said, don't you think it's a little bit early? And uh, she said, well, I don't know. She said, we can go, so let's go. And. <laughs> Off we went, thank goodness. I believe it was the next day, uh, my nephew had a football game, and we went to his game, and nobody could believe it. No pain meds? No. Life's good. Really good. I would do it no other way. It's, it's, a, it's a game changer. <laughs>